So if previously, prior to COVID-19, you were used to having one or two touch points with your people uh, per year, now I'm hoping you realize that there's other technologies and modalities where you can get those touch points much more frequently and you can actually get on some type of schedule. Whereas even if it's just a five minute check-in, that that can absolutely continue to strengthen the connection that you have with them. And I do want you guys to realize that as leaders, checking in with your people, finding out what's going on in their world, finding out their current pain points or what you can help them with, that's not extra work. That is your work. These constant check-ins with your franchisees and your other team members needs to be a major, major priority. And that's a silver lining that I believe we can all pull from this is we don't have to hide behind the fact that we don't have the time to get on planes to go see everyone all of the time. We can be just as efficient and just as effective by using some of these new modalities. And the last thing I'll say on that is I do want you at some point to sit down and reflect to the way your business looked before COVID-19. And I want you to make a, a very transparent list of the things that were working really, really well and the things that probably needed a little bit of tightening. Then I want you to look at your business over the last 12 weeks when we've been in the heart of COVID-19 and I want you to do the same thing. What things have been working well and what things were really challenging. And then I want you to take both, both of those lists and I want you to do a best of moving forward. I want you to take the things that were working well before and the things that were working well during and find ways to continue to implement those moving forward during recovery. And then I want you to take the things that were challenges and weren't working well in both of those scenarios and find ways to either improve them, delegate them, or mitigate them moving forward. The whole key to success is to do more of what works and do less of what doesn't. And now is a perfect time for all of us, now that we've had a look behind our own curtain, to figure out what goes on each list and move forward with optimism and poise.